Well, hello and welcome back to Farthest Frontier, Dapkin's Keep. We are going to trek into Tier 3 in this video, which means we have quite a bit to do. Currently, I just need to collect a tad bit more clay. And I have a trader who hopefully will get me the money I need. We're not too far off right now. So just a little bit more cash. Let me put this up to times 3. Yeah, we're getting close. Um... Just need about 600 more coin. We are accumulating coin at a pretty decent rate. Our food production is wonderful. Uh, we'll, we'll play by ear what population we're going to push to. I don't foresee wanting to go higher than like 190-ish. All these houses are going to upgrade to tier 3. And that is going to bring in, yeah, probably about 190 people. We're going to sit there. We're going to upgrade all the interior areas to stone, and we're going to collect as much money and everything else as possible. Uh, currently, yeah, everything is doing really well, though. Just taking a little peek down here. Looks like we're getting everything. I have a couple... Gr I might get rid of that uh, green if it interferes, but we got heel root and the willow going. Uh, looks like they're collecting all the herbs. That's why I try to get rid of all these the stuff. I just want them focused on making sure I get the maximum harvest every year. Two, if you get raided, um, you only have so much time. So that's another reason why I, I get rid of this stuff. Thank you for difficulty. You get raided every other year. Which means you may only have a few hours to harvest uh, down here. Um, if they're hiding in their house during a raid. So just keep that in mind. You want to keep this as clean as possible. All right, cool. Forester camp's doing well. Forester camp's doing well. There's no more stone. Uh, we're going to go to a, a 1 to 2 plant ratio. 1 to 1 there. That's perfect. All right, feel good about that. Everything is working as intended. They are keeping the... Ooh, they're, they're bringing the milk over here. I wonder if that's why it's spoiling so quickly. Interesting. Yeah, well, once we get cheese production going, when we hit tier 3, we won't have to worry about this stuff anymore, will we? Alright, and it does look like we're pretty... Yeah, our working is about 86. I don't really know if um, it's that much more efficient being here than over there. But it certainly feels potentially like it will be. I definitely am going to have to get a another one of these bad boys going here pretty soon. I do know that uh, I'll have some wheat storage down here. Yeah, they're bringing the wheat down here, so... Hmm. Yeah, it's hard to tell. The, the trick is either moving everything down and having nothing up here to make sure that they're prioritizing bringing the wheat to the location where it's being used in production. But that could cause rot issues if they're having to walk it all the way back. Um, oh man, we're, we're going to just have too much wheat. I probably... Hmm. I probably will not need wheat in the other three crops because we're producing so much of it right here. I might opt for like beans instead of wheat on the other build. On the other three farms are going to go here for the second thing. We can, can uh, cross that bridge when we get there. Alright. Well, it looks like there's a couple things that need to be repaired. Let's make sure everything is in perfect condition. All right, cool. We got our little cross uh, cemetery down there. That's where we need. And we're getting close, though. We're getting close to uh, the bulk up stage, which means I'm probably once I hit tier three, once I show you the basics of everything, then I'm just gonna sit back and collect tens of thousands of stone. I'm going to upgrade all of my storage units, of course. Build out some additional storage, but mostly I'm just going to be sitting here and accumulating massive quantities of resources. And then, you know, doing the flower urns, doing all that stuff, uh, collecting bricks, getting the, the brick maker up. Brick maker, I'm honestly considering just putting like right next to the clay right here, uh, since they're so close together. And I do have a backdoor access. And you know what? Like I said, a lot of this stuff um, can be changed, but 
maybe I'll just make a road at this portion just to give him a little bit of speed. I know the rest of this is going to be walled off. And I know in the design I don't have any intention of having roads here. My, my main um, idea was to just have a road that kind of looped around here. It's unfortunate that these are located here because it does make having a, a road access that much more viable, but I'll have to play that by ear. There's Sometimes something looks really good on paper but just doesn't work out. That's the problem. Alright. Cool, the Fletcher is... Fletcher's doing a good job. Looks like our quotas are, are working well. Storehouse is not really that full. Probably should get a vault up here at some point. I guess I can... Let's look at our, um, our labor force right now. 14. 16 people free. It's not a bit, but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to increase candle production regardless. Hmm. Really can't spend any money right now. Need to hit that tier 3 so I can uh, get this show on the road. And get my road... Literally, I want to get my roads upgraded to stone. I'll increase productivity pretty substantially. Yeah, the animations in this game are pretty dope. They did a really good job with a lot of this stuff. One good trade away. I think we're going to get raided here momentarily. We're at that point of the game where the raids just become more consistent. Cool. And the deer is still coming. Oh, nice. The meat productivity seems to have uh, increased quite a bit. But yeah, I, I can feel it in my bones that there's a raid. Mm -mm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll, we'll get one year off. I can't remember if they hit last year or not. It would... It would be nice if it weren't so routine. Um, it does seem to just be like ev literally every other year. I've had times where I get hit by the normal raid and then I get hit by the Lord raid. So I've had back-to-back -back raids uh, before and it's pretty ruthless when that happens. Especially if you haven't rebuilt your defenses. Uh-oh. Someone broke their leg. Uh, we should have traders coming in here pretty soon. That would be great. I have, like I said, quite a bit to do once we hit tier 3. We should probably... Alright, so we need to be able to get everyone to uh, 65. And there are two ways you can do that. One is through uh, the flower urns. And then another one would be through statues. And statues are more expensive, but they also cover a much wider distance. The festival pole is another option. That's a good one. Uh, that would hit a lot of buildings. I still need to actually build a festival pole uh, down here too. But uh, again, trying not to spend money that I do not have. This was right there. All right, cool. He's buying raw clay. That we had. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the raw clay. I had for stress. Perfect. Um. So there's our two. Cool. Upgrade into tier three. And our trade post is full. We're gonna want to upgrade the trade post as soon as possible as well. That will bring in a higher class of traders, more traders, and they'll have more money. So we'll boot this up. 
and oh man yeah once this pony show starts it's gonna be crazy nice I'm really surprised at how well storage is doing with just one unit we really don't have a whole bunch most of most everything I have is in the trade post for sale Ah, shit. Eight bricks to repair the market. Not great. Alright. So, we will get a charcoal kiln up. I'm just going to get that up down here. We have so much ample space here. Um, the barns, I'm going to have to move outside. Um, yeah. I need to grow my industry area. Okay, cool. I can sell herbs. I can sell... I love selling herbs. Herbs are like... Herbs are also a great trade commodity for any point in the game. And uh, we're going to need a lot of money in this town. For these buildings we're about to upgrade and build and everything else. Alright, we're hit tier 3. Uh, Brickmaker. I'm going to be putting the Brickmaker outside later on in the build that I have room here now, so I'm just going to use it. That's the soap shop. And the barn is going to have to... Well... I mean, technically the barn needs to go, but they're able to get the fodder quality in here. I'm just going to leave them. Cool, I got 10 out of 10. Look at all that meat I'm getting out of this. And milk. Ooh. And that reminds me. Everything's disorganized right now, but... Uh, that's, this is the most important thing to get up, which is the cheese maker. That's money. That's money for the next century right there. And for some reason, they're able to breed and make milk in this confined area, so I'm just going to leave the barns as is. Alright, and we still got items to trade. Perfect. Do they have any bricks? Negative. I could buy Willow. Alright, cool. Um, throwing all that money into town. There we got 1200. Alright, cool. We're going to need to ramp up clay production. I think that's enough for each of these guys right there. And tier 3 housing. We got the candles. We just need the desirability. So two ways we can do that is by upgrading these things. But that's... Hmm. I'm going to upgrade this shrine. We're going to focus on one area. Um, we don't want to do anything with bricks if we don't have to. Uh, 15 iron isn't too hard to come by, but 450 gold is pretty expensive. That would give plus four. And then we got the, uh, the medium statues that go in the design here. And that's not going to hit enough houses here. Um... Yeah, plus four or five percent. Small statue would make the most sense to me. Realistically, I can place this anywhere. In the design I have it kind of specified out, but uh, I might have to change that. So it looks like I could just place one of them. Right there. There's right here. Okay. So we're going to move this guy. Over there and we're gonna replace that with a small statue that's gonna that's gonna be a good one and we're going to upgrade the festival pole there that's beautiful and I have a small statue in design there but um, a medium statue I mean sorry that's a cobbler shop there currently Alright, we don't want tallow. It's kind of weird. Alright, we'll play this one by ear. 
We got lots of clay. Looks like we need a tad bit more coal. The coal production will ramp up pretty quick, though. Then it gets away from you really fast. Um, we've pretty much spent all the money, but this should do the trick. And tier 3 housing will definitely pay... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get a lot of 65s out of that. And that's going to take us more clay and money to upgrade those to tier 3. But here's the fun part. Yeah, it just requires a lot of money, a lot of patience, and we don't have either either of those here. But um, we'll acquire them. You can see my wood production is really starting to ramp up. And that's great. Eventually, like, what I do is I make furniture. Because furniture, you could sell it. And it generates luxury taxes. Um, it's just a... It's a good one. What the hell does that say? Oh, the ammo's gone rogue. Okay, cool. Alright. So, we're getting everything up. We just got that big, uh, small statue up. We got some over 65. Need to keep working on that. Um, just 12 more over there. We almost got that one up. We're doing pretty good. Oh, cool. Sell all my shoes. There's some more money. Uh, we probably need to buy iron with it, though. Which we don't have the ability to do yet. So hopefully we get a trader who can do that. Also want to upgrade the trade post as soon as possible. Everything's looking pretty good. Once I get the cheese maker up, then I can um, divert resources other directions. Okay, we're getting raided. I'm gonna pause real quick. Nice, we can buy iron. I'm gonna buy as much as possible. Cool. And then I should probably buy a heavy tool if I have the capacity to. Let's slow this down a bit. Alright, um, this barracks is gonna have some issues because this guy's not in there. Once these upgrade, they're a little bit better at this stuff, but, uh, I'm gonna send in help from the second one. We're gonna send in help from all, everybody. Alright, we're gonna lose one of the barracks. That's fine. I didn't have the outer perimeter ready. Alright, we're gonna lose... <laughs> All right, crap! I gotta re—I gotta retreat these people back into their barracks so they can shoot their arrows now. All right, cool. Yeah, we're doing all right. I'm gonna uh, boot this up to times three. Get some show on the road. And they're gone. Yeah, once we get all this upgraded to stone and get all of our everything proper, it'll be a whole different kind of show. Don't want them chasing anybody. Perfect. Alright, we got a guy who will buy candles. and sell candles. And buy heavy tools. Eventually, though, like I said, I want to set blacksmith. Get everything going. And uh, make my own iron. Kill two people. Not very, not very nice. Alright, now we got houses upgrading, so we're going to need a lot of clay and a lot of money. Cool. Everything's doing pretty well right now. Oh, yeah. Jeez Louise. 
most important thing. Upgrade these dang roads. What's good about having like one centralized road like this? Yeah, we will take you. We will have housing for you shortly. We're gonna get all the industry roads upgraded for sure. Get these going. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, and then of course we want to get the farming roads upgraded. And we'll get this middle road here upgraded. Nice, that's going to lead to some really significant increases here. Nice. Alright, cool. Let's boot up the builders to 20. Get this stuff going. My cows are still produ reproducing. They're still doing their thing. They seem to be doing all right. Um, we're making lots of bricks. I don't know why this is sitting at 50. It says we made 50 last year. I must have used it for repairs. All right, cool. Nice. It's nice seeing all the, all the roads pop up and everyone just getting a little bit quicker. Nice little productivity boost. Uh, we have the AB tier 4 to upgrade these barracks, so we won't be doing that for a bit. And we're going to need 50 bricks, 500. That's not bad for the trading post. Nice. It looks like money's the thing holding us back right now, so... We'll slowly get all these houses upgraded. Hmm. I'm gonna rebuild that barracks down there. That's money too. Almost all, all of our problems are money related now. It's pretty crazy to see everything upgrading so quickly. Just need to make a little bit of money here. Mm. No, I don't want to do that. I mean, like I could fire, I could fire these people, but then recruiting them is twenty-five gold. Recruit each one of them. It's easier just to keep them on the payroll. How the hell did you get in here? Shit, I got it of this stuff. Mm, wrong button. Alright, cool. Crap, we have a freaking bear running around. Let's get a little bit closer, my friend. There we go. Ah, bear gone. Man, once that cheesemaker gets up, I'm gonna be rolling in the dough. In the gold shekel dough, or whatever you want to call it. Cool, just enough food is being stored there. A little bit of spoilage. Looks like all the other resources are doing pretty well. Hmm. I'm like tempted to build another house. Um, really don't want those people to freeze to death because they definitely need their their uh, workforce. Nice. People are growing up. That's great. That means they're being added to the workforce. 
contributing members of society now. Yeah, once I upgrade these... Well, there's multiple things that need to happen. One, I need at least four to five people per barracks to make them very viable. I don't even have the, uh, the tower set up in the design yet. Going to be very expensive. We're we're like at that stretch where like things are going to get easier because um, we're going to be producing cheese for trade. I mean, and a lot of cheese. We're going to be producing unless this is probably like six or four hundred, uh, six seven hundred cheese. Yeah, so that'd be great. The food got a little scary there, though. Yeah, basket. Oh, that's awesome. Flower. We can sell a ton of flour. Neat. Alright, cool. That should help with the buildings right there. We're gonna sell a ton of flour to this guy. Dial back the... Baskets, I need to give baskets to my people, too. Right, here come. I wish the trade post, honestly, when you upgrade it, like, it should have four people. It should scale. I mean, it's also nice if you could attach trade storage or, like, build off of it somehow. Alright, there we go. Now we got a ton of money. Nice. All those houses are going to get upgraded. Everything else is going to get upgraded. And... Did we get the cheesemaker up? We need five more? Cool. Alright, does he have... Any iron? We need to buy more iron. option now. He gone. Alright, cool. Well, once we get the cheesemaker up. Put five people on that, baby. Um, got three here. Put one more dude here to make sure that they got food. I don't want any of them done. We're gonna start making cheese, and I am going to preemptively start moving all that cheese in, and I want to make sure that this is stocked at 500 before the people get any of it to eat. It is definitely a massive trade item. So we got a lot of cash. Um, we can do anything we want, basically. Uh, I want to start upgrading root cellars. I want to start doing everything else that I've been neglecting. Uh, we need heavy tools, most likely. Alright, cool. Nice. Love it when the children grow up. Any more, any more people working? A 
upgrade the hunters too to set traps. Looks like we were just there on firewood. I'll probably upgrade these to firewood splitters so they're a little bit faster. Alright. Five iron. Three brick. Okay, cool. these guys up a bit. The other ones are doing pretty well, so get those guys. One's at 62. Nice. Look at all these guys over here. That right there is going to get them all up in the 65s. Perfect. Just need iron now. All right. Well, we're making it. Um, the next episode is going to focus on cleaning everything up, getting walls upgraded to all stone, and I will set everything up. We will get as far as possible before the quote-unquote bulk, bulk up stage. And then, like I said, I'll be fast-forwarding like 20 years into the future. I won't build anything. I won't do anything crazy. Like, I'm literally just going to be sitting here at the trade post buying stuff. So, thank you all for watching.